Local school administrators and police officers spent the morning going over this. It's titled Active Shooter Training for Educators. Somebody's walking into a school building with, gun, with a gun. They're walking in that school building to kill. Law enforcement training officer James Burke addressed a full room of community officials about proper procedures should they ever be the target of what they call an active shooter. I've seen training exercises where they'll have kids screaming, blaring through the PA. But he says in any given circumstance, the scenario could change, and you must have a backup plan. Maybe what we're doing isn't the best option all the time. We need to look back at some of these incidents and, and decide, do we need to change how we do things? Do we need to change how we train? For learning purposes, those in attendance watch as Burke laid out the exact timeline for both the Columbine and the Virginia Tech shootings. You want to be as, as safe as possible, so the more you know, the better opportunity we have to create a safe environment for our students in our school system. In both cases, the killers had prepared extensively. Teachers had no training for such an event and made the only choice they could think of, which was lockdown. We should all be trained in how to lock down, but not just lock down, but barricade. And maybe lockdown isn't the best option at the point, and if we need to look at evacuating, then we need to look at evacuating. The administrators will take the information they received back to their respective schools and put the training to work. Now, much of the training that took place today focused on what to do in response to an active shooter, but they say it's equally important to be able to identify a threat before something happens. Chris Delcamp, WNWO News.